Hey y'all, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tay and I'm here with a DIY slash instructional video. So I have been working hard on this, you guys, for a couple of months, pretty much since all of this health crisis situation has happened. This is going to be one of the main products that I offer in my new business. So I wanted to show you guys um, basically how to make soy candles today. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. So let's get started. I don't know why it's not going off, but <laughs> let me try it. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to go over the, um, I guess the things that you'll need so I have two scales here most people start off with one I did which is this main one right here so I can weigh out my wax and then I have this smaller scale right here which will allow me to weigh out the fragrance oil I have some small cups I have some pipettes back there that is my candle dye in those small bottles and then I also have these two pink dye chips which I'm going to be using as well um, you're also going to need a temperature gun so that you can thoroughly take the temperature of your wax. And then I have a stirring utensil, which is just basically a silicone spoon that's heat resistant, I think up to a 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I have my wax right here. This is the way it came to me, you guys, so don't come for me. Um, and I, all, I already measured out some of the wax, which is that little block that's sitting on top. I am using this butter knife. The wax is extremely soft, so it doesn't really need a lot of pressure. And then to melt my wax, I am using this container, and I'm going to be using a double boiler. So the last thing I forgot to mention, of course, is you're going to need your containers in which you're going to put your, um, your wax in. You can get containers from the 99 cent store. That's how I started off. Um, I just really fell in love with these 8 ounce jelly jars. I've already wicked it. That is a process in itself. So if you guys want me to go over how to properly wick your jars, I can do that in a separate video. But I've already wicked my jar, as you can see. And I have a wick holder that's holding it center so that when I pour the wax in, it doesn't move. So this is an 8 ounce jelly jar and that's what I'm going to be using today for my candles. Alright, here we go. So for the first layer, I'm doing a 4 layer candle. So I'm only going to talk through the first layer and then when I go through the other three layers because it's just basically repeating the steps, I'm just going to speed through that. Um, if you guys want to watch all the way to the end, which I would appreciate it if you do, you can. You can go ahead and speed through, but I'm going to speed it up for you anyway. So just for the first layer, it's going to be instructional. So for the first part, you're going to go ahead and weigh out your wax. Now my jar holds 150 grams of wax. So I've already weighed out, I've already divided that by the number of layers I'm going to do, which is four. I'm going to place this on the scale, and that gave me 37.5 for the amount of wax I need per layer. So that's 37.5 grams. So I'm going to tear the weight of my container, and then I'm going to add my block of soy wax. 37. Now this one doesn't um, measure out and half grams but that's okay 37 is perfect okay so hopefully you guys can see I have me a small pot that's going on my stove right now with about I want to say maybe one to two inches of water in it and then I'm just going to set my container inside of it just to melt the wax trying to tip over on me because there's not enough weight inside of the container to hold it down for the amount of water, but that's okay. We're going to make this work. I don't know if you guys can see, hopefully you can, that little blocks of block of wax is actually completely melted. So now I'm just going to add this small die chip and just let that melt. And then I want to take the temperature of the wax. 
We're at about 195, so I want to just melt this wax chip into the soy wax. And then add the fragrance and pour it into the jar. Okay, so I'm just going to measure out my fragrance oil now using the small cup. Same as you do with the wax. So you just set that on there and then you want to press the tear button so that it doesn't count the weight of the little cup. And then I need 3.33 grams per layer. So I'm going to see as how close to that I can get. Perfect. All right, so there's my first layer of wax. Nice pink color, and now I'm just going to add the fragrance oil. Stir that around for about a minute so that it gets thoroughly incorporated. Um, and you want to follow the manufacturer's instructions in terms of the pour temperature. And what I mean by pour temperature is what temperature is best for you to pour your wax. This particular wax that I am using um, needs to be poured at around 165 and 175. However, in order for the fragrance oil to bind with the wax, it has to be at around 185. So I was already at 195 and I'm still on the fire. So I'm going to take this off and complete, complete, keep stirring it and then I'm going to pour it into my jar. Okay, so I've got my wax to the proper temperature and now I'm just going to pour slowly into my jar. Okay, and we have completed the first layer. So like I said, the other layers, I'm not going to talk through them in an effort to keep this video at a pretty, I'll say, decent length. So I'm just going to go through and speed it up for those parts. Okay, so really quickly, you guys, I just want to show you um, me using the liquid dye versus the dye chips, which is what I use in the other clip. Um, so I'm going to put one drop of yellow. Actually, that was two drops. And then I want to do one drop of blue so that I can make a green. When I first started with my candles, the person who sold me the supplies told me that the dye chips were actually better. And they are okay um, for those colors that they may not necessarily carry in the liquid dye because all I've been able to find are the primary colors, which is red, yellow, and blue. However, the only issue I have with using the dye chips is the fact that sometimes they don't melt thoroughly inside of the soy wax or any type of wax, and so it leaves a little bit of sediment at the bottom. So that looks like it's going to be a pretty nice green color. Um, keep in mind the soy wax is white, so it's not going to be as dark as it appears here in the in this container it's going to be lighter Sorry about the background, my kids is watching TV, but I wanted to show you guys the final product. So this is the candle 
Um, it still needs to set up overnight. At least I think it needs to set up overnight. Normally people would actually burn these right away because the soy wax is completely hard. But I'm going to let them set overnight. Um, these are actually a special order for somebody as well. So um, a good rule of thumb, which I don't think I mentioned earlier, is that you want to make sure to cut the wick down um, to at least a fourth of an inch um, that way to keep the flame from burning too high but yeah you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more uh, definitely catch you in the next video and I'll show you guys what the candle looks like with the wicks cut down in the next clip so I'll see you in the next video peace mm -hmm.